Okay. What we want to do now is we want to project this new projection of our this hot thing or new kite item. We want to project onto the transverse Mercator projection, which is the normal ones that we use. Now normally we'll go to LO27 or LO29, but I've got a problem with this because LO27 and LO29 come together right in the middle of half 10, which means I have overlaps all over the place. If I work on LO27, I have to overlap on LO29 and vice versa, which I don't want to do. So I actually want to create a projection on LO28. So how do we do that? The same as we did before, we're going to have to group a little bit. So we go to settings, we check the options, and we look at our coordinate reference system, and we look at which, which ones we have, and we filter by EPSG P2287, and we have a cape. LO27 there, which is a transfer of locator, latitude 0, longitude 0, uh, 27 degrees, longitude 0 is 27 degrees, which I don't want, I want to make that 28, but I can't change anything in here. Again, we also want to change our translations to WGS84, I can't change anything here, but what I can do is I can copy. And then just leave this, close that, and go to settings and create a custom reference system. And we want to add a new one and we call it uh, what do we call it? We call it L O yeah, Cape L O Cape. L O twenty eight. L O twenty eight. And we paste our copy in there and we make our longitude of origin simply twenty eight. And we change our translations. We don't change anything about the A's and the B's because that is still Cape data. And we change our translations to minus change our translations to Minus 151.39 Minus 151.39 And Minus 114.96 Yeah 114.96 And to Minus 281 minus 281.87. Good. So now that's our new translation for at least this new coordinate system. We can add it there. Cape LO28. This one we can take away because it's. And we simply say OK. So now we have our LA28. Now we can go and project our on the Cape Datum store this Gauteng projection or the Gauteng latitude and longitude. We simply click on there and we say save as. Okay, and for the name there we go to browse. We want to go into that data set and we want to call it outing. No. K 
Skype right there. And hello 28. Because we've created that. Good. We say save. And then what well, coordinate reference system. We go to user defined again. Okay, hello 28, the one which we made, which is hello 28, and which is new translations. And we say okay. What you must also notice is over here we've got the access command. It says access equals west south up. So in Because QGIS is going positive from the bottom to the top and positive from this side to that side and if we specify that axis it's going to project it onto that but it will turn it around on this, on this screen. Also I don't have projection corrections on the fly set which means it will simply projected somewhere totally different than over here but it doesn't matter you could say ok and we say ok and you'll notice it opens it but it's not it's not here so if we go there and we zoom to the layer you can see there it is and lo and behold it's upside down but you can see the coordinates are all there and they're increasing or decreasing in a southern direction so what we need to do now is we need to rotate our screen 180 degrees and Gauteng is the right way up again and now you'll notice if you look at the x-coordinates it increases this way and if you look at the y-coordinates they actually increase going this way which is correct which is the way we normally work 